at this point, what we want to do is to be able to fetch all the products that we currently have in our database and display it in this area right here. All right, because now that we have, we're able to create all the categories and the products, we have products available in the database. So now is the time to display here to the administrator so we can see uh, what we have available to us. So to get started, what we have here, of course I have my notes here. Uh, we're gonna start off with the backend route, uh, route for getting products. So let's go ahead and Obviously, the, the server.js, the entry point for the back end, um, we have this available to us. So from the front end, we're going to make a request to the, the API product, and then it's going to reference this product routes, which is right here. So if we go to the routes, that's right here. And we already have the, the, route, the route for creating the products. So now we just need for uh, getting the products. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this here. And we're going to change this from post to get. And we'll leave this as a forward slash. And then here, we don't need any middleware for authenticating. Authentication. And we don't need this here for uh, this middleware for uploading images. Because this is only a get request. And for the controller now, we're just going to change it from create to read all. All right, and the reason why I decided to call this read all is because I want to keep the convention of CRUD, the acronym CRUD, which is create, read, update, and delete. So this is read, reading all the documents or products. Okay, so now that we have that, um, now we have to go ahead to the controller. And um, here, don't mind this error here. That's because we're, we're going to have to, in the controller, have the read all. And that's what we're going to do right now. And if I copy this here, the controller for create, uh, for create, um, I'm going to go ahead down here and paste below. And let's go ahead and make some changes. So this is not going to be a read all. And I'm going to delete these console logs here. Don't need that. We don't need this here. And within the try block for now, yeah, we're just gonna start from scratch, delete everything from the try. And in the catch, we're just gonna do product controller read all error. And then please try again for the response if there's an error, okay just like that and if I save that this error at the bottom that you see is gone okay so now let's go ahead and start with within our try block so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a request to our MongoDB database and we're gonna fetch all the products so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a const call this products and I'm gonna do a wait product dot find and for the first argument I'm gonna do an empty curly braces by doing this what it allows us to do it tells Mongo uh, mongoose to just fetch all the products okay there's no query of a specific product just fetch all the products all right and then the next thing I want to do is dot populate now what populate allows us to do is allows us to pool data from other models. If we look at the product model right now currently, okay, this is the product schema. Right now we have a field here called product category and you see it has the type of object ID. Now this is what allows us to create the relationship between the product and the category. So by doing this, we're able to, by using populate, I'm gonna reference this, this property field here and by doing that, it's gonna allow me to not only pull data from the product model, but also the category model, because this field right here had, creates that relationship again between the product and the category. And if you've worked with relational database like uh, SQL, MySQL, um, it's been a while since I personally worked with them. Uh, those are non-relational databases, 
but I know if you want to create the relationship between two tables, you will uh, there's a, a join, right? You have the the join uh, method, which uh, allows you to extract data from um, two tables that are related. And um, so this is the equivalent right here uh, when you use MongoDB, which is a non-relational database or uh, um, non-relational database, it allows you to create that relationship. So join is like the anonymous or synonymous with the populate method for Mongo or Mongoose. Okay, so anyways, that being said, let's go back and here to the controller. And what we want to do again is we want to get that property. And this is the property right here, right here. And we're going to paste that right, right inside here in its strings. And then the second one is exactly what do we want? What are the fields that we want from the other, uh, from the other model, which is the category? Well, let me see here. Let's go ahead and open the category model. Uh, well, actually, we only have one field, and this is well, we can actually extract uh, the ID too. But right now, all I want is just this field right here, just category. Okay, so I'm gonna close this here, um, and I'm gonna place category. So anything here, you would add the field from the other model that you want to extract. So, and if you want a multiple. Of fields because right now I only have one but if you want it multiple you just add a space and then add the other one so say like uh, name um, say uh, underscore ID and then so on and so on so you just add a space and then the other fields that you want to add all right so there we go okay so that's done so now that we do that next thing is we want to send a response send a response back to the client to do a response JSON and then products and that's it so now we're sending the products over to our front end and that is it for now um, I will continue on the next video